What's going on, everybody? Cigar Titan here once again with my good friend, Brother Stogie. Say hello to the people. Tie your fam. Hello. <laughs> That's right. And Brother Stogie, it's been almost a year now uh, since we've done a gas station video. I think it was last April when we shot our first gas station video. And you know what? Since last April, that video itself has yeah. hit over 22,000. 23 as of today. I stand correct. <laughs> 23,000 <laughs> views. Yep. So it was only right that we do one home. That's right. It was a ton of fun doing that. I mean, we had uh, we had some busts on that episode for sure. And we had a we couple did. of clear winners. Uh, we're going to do the same thing today. And we'll talk about where we got these cigars from. How many of these things we actually have <laughs> when we get back? Are you ready to get started? Let's give it to them. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. So like we said at the beginning of the episode, we are doing a follow-up to our gas station cigars uh, video that we shot last year. Yes. And man, somebody really came through for us. Hey, actually real, real quick. Hey, shout out to Abe, you know what I'm saying, with Smokey and Cigars and with the great Smoke. Yep, that, awesome show. You know what I'm saying, that was today. So if you was wondering where, uh, when it was going on, right. you missed out because it was today. Uh, if you wonder where your party package was, if you didn't buy it, well, it's too late because it's over. But <laughs> you was a go for that. You put all that together and it was a very good show. Yeah, 100%. Right on. I think I watched all eight hours of it, minus the occasional bathroom break. I didn't. I went to I went to my boys out. We went to the big old trampoline park. Right, I got you. It was pretty, you know, pretty badass. You know, when you're tall and you old, and you, gotta, <laughs> and you, see, your, you see your five-year-old jumping <laughs> off of, you know right. what I'm saying, springboard into a little foam ball. I'm like, man, it's kind of far down, bro. Yep. You know? I'm like... I didn't jump. She was kind of no. high. She was kind of high. I'm getting too old for this stuff. Right. Knees like, don't if, work if the way they used to. my ankles are from this jump. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fit it. So I had the Nike sweatshirt, That's right. the shoes, and the shorts. I didn't jump. Hey, we, we got to be able to go to work in good condition the next day. So I bounced a little trampoline. bit. And I was like, like, there was this your space right here. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. You know what I'm saying? I did a little double jump. <laughs> <laughs> so back to the cigars here that we got on the table. So Brother Stogie, somebody really came through for us on yes. this one. They actually yes. reached out to us after they saw our first gas station video and said, hey, would you guys be interested in doing another gas station video? And we said, yeah, sure. Why not? So a uh, big shout out to Heath Nichols of cstorecigars.com yes. for sending us all this. Now, funny story, and <laughs> Brother Stogie can attest, I sent, uh, we actually got this stuff a couple of weeks ago, but we've been pretty booked the last couple of weeks with yes. shows and stuff like that. But uh, I got an email from Heath and he said, hey, you know, I sent out the stuff. And I said, yeah, thanks, I got right. it, you know. He's like, I may have gone a little overboard, so... We think you like some, like, some luxury cigar club, right. com box size boxes. <laughs> right. Nah, he said, like, a whole truck <laughs> of, like, hey, like, we can literally open a not, Bound and Smoke Quickie Mart. Right, not kidding <laughs> at all. I showed up from work one day, I got home, and I've got this huge box sitting on my front porch, and I'm like, what the hell is this? I haven't ordered anything, not thinking, this is going to be full of gas station cigars. Right. I get it in and it's no joke. Like I, we could open up our own Quickie Mart with all the stuff that we got So here. we will come back to that at the end of the episode. <laughs> so stay tuned. I may even put a little picture up that I took of everything just to kind of show everybody all the stuff that came in the package. It's pretty crazy. Stay tuned. <laughs> so what we got here, all right? So we picked out one, two, three, four. Four blends of gas station sticks for y'all. And we're gonna do a little review. Yep. Smoke through, see how they smoke performance wise, check out the machine roll, and some they claim the hand roll like we did before, right? So, so, before we start cracking into these cigars, one of the things that Heath uh, actually mentioned when he reached out that he noticed was a problem when we were out. You remember, we were shooting our vlog, mm -hmm. we were going out, and we were looking for cigars. We actually had to go to three different places yep. just to find the things that we needed in order to shoot that video. Because all the cigars were wiped out. Everything was wiped at out. At the start of COVID, because that's right. when, we, when we did this, at the start of COVID. Yep. It was all wiped out. So, one of the benefits to this, 
to having an online store like cstorecigars.com is you don't have to worry about going out and trying to find all of these different cigars. Yep. I mean, they have got a list of different things. Now these aren't <clears throat> premium like cigars. We do have, I think some of these in the pack may have been hand rolled, but these aren't your typical premium cigars. They're not the Arturo Fuentes, the Padrones, you know, things like that. These are the things that most people really start their cigar journey on. And because not everybody smokes premium cigar. No. Some people like Hence the, the reason Titans. 23,000 views you know what I'm on saying? that video. Some of them like the Titan Phillies that we yep. did. You know, some of them like, you know what I'm saying? Swisher Sweets. Yep. For whatever, for whatever reason they purchase in them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I am done. <laughs> okay, good. It's gonna be a long ass video. <laughs> so one of the biggest things, uh, one of the biggest issues we had actually buying those cigars uh, the first time around. You guys can go back after you watch this video and check out the first gas stations uh, gas station cigar video we shot was just the quality of the cigars that we that we got. They weren't mm -hmm. fresh. Mm -hmm. I think uh, two of the blends, the different ones. I think it was the Havana Honeys mm -hmm. and then. I forget what the hand rolled ones were. Like just unraveled in front of our eyes. Just, yeah, Crunchy. I mean, super dry, no moisture to anything, just kind of fell apart and it was quite honestly not even smokable. So it was a waste yeah. of money. If I had spent, I think, more than the two or three bucks on those cigars, probably I probably would have right? been a little pissed off. Well, so what do you want to start with today? Man, I don't know, man. Let's just get in. Let's, let's just start with what's on the table. Shit. Let's, All right. let's see, this is the game. Two cigars for 99 cents. Hold it up there. Hold it up. Let, let, let oh, the people right, see. I got you. This is actually a nice little package. You know what okay. I'm saying? Oh, look. Boom. Two pack of the game. Here you go. Look. Two, two cigars. It says cigars on there. It <laughs> sure does. It says cigars look at on there. That. You know what I'm saying? That's how you know they're cigars. I don't know. It comes packaged with a condom or something. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. First okay. up is the game Natural Silver, Natural Leaf, Cigarello. Natural, I'm going to assume, because I don't smell anything outside of tobacco. I'm going to assume that this is a flavorless it cigar. It Garcia y Vega since 1882. Okay, I've heard of Garcia y Vega. Right. So, very plain. It's something. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a flavor note in here. I get none of that. So, I'm going to light it up. Okay, let's go. Let me see. So, as y'all can see, I'm going to show y'all. No, let's see. Kind of reminds yeah. me a little bit of a, like yeah. a backwoods. Oh, there you go. See, they're both open on both sides. I'm assuming this is a spark that you smoke from right here. So, boom. So, I'm going like that right there. What so, you initial thoughts, uh, it tastes like a cigar. It's not flavored. There's no artificial sweetness or anything added to the stick at all. Um, it does taste like a cigar though. It tastes like a regular plain cigar. Like nothing any, nothing in particular that I would write home about, but it's kind of a refreshing taste yeah. to not, it doesn't taste over processed. It does taste like one of those cigars that maybe like, it's like $5 and below. Mm -hmm. well, this is also a fairly quick burner too. I've already had to ash this thing twice already as I'm smoking it, but just a very plain tobacco taste. Nothing, like I said earlier, that you would write home about. Um, no artificial sweetness or anything added to the cigar. Doesn't taste, I don't have any of that metallic taste mm. to it like you would usually get with like a machine rolled cigar or something artificial. It just tastes like a plain tobacco cigar. I mean, I could, honestly, I could smoke this and finish it and I think so too. Yeah, the smoke, the smoke output is real nice. I wouldn't, you know, throw like it out. I would, it's not, it's like not I would, a bad throw I would put this pack if I was going hunting. Okay. Or camping. Right. And I didn't want to risk breaking a Arturo Fuente in my bag. Right. You don't want to break your Opus X's. My Opus X's. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Or my Year of the Oxen that was spent <laughs> seven hundred and thirty dollars on one stick. You know what I'm saying? Right. I want to risk those. I might put one of these in my bag. Right. It's not bad. I'm, I'm a little worried that this is like set us up because now uh, I think the second thing we're going to be getting into here is the Green Sweets by White Owl. And I have a feeling, there you go. I have a feeling that that one's going to be uh, artificially flavored. Okay. 
So I think the green owl, I mean, might be like a candela. Let's find out. Let's find out. On to the next. So second up, we've got the white owl, green sweets. Nice little shiny package. Right? Nice little white owl. <clears throat> All right. Not even a bad aftertaste. No, really not. I'm I'm actually pleasantly surprised. You know that, that was a good one. Speaking of camp, you know that what that was the equivalent to? You know when you go camping and you like you're used to having like your Starbucks coffee, but you just have like that Folgers instant coffee. But your water is not quite right when you boil it, you put it in there, well, and yeah. all the, the bees aren't, you know what I'm saying, well, absorbed. Right. So you got your coffee, and it's okay for where you're at. Yes. That was that. <laughs> well, it looks like Brother Stogie was right. This looks wow. like a machine rolled candela type wrapper. I don't know. And this is another one. There's not really any pungent, sweet odor or anything to it. It does smell, it does smell like a green leaf. Very green. And the foot and the shoulder is both open. All right. I don't know why, but it's real spicy on the tongue. But still, uh, very soft, faint tobacco taste. Yeah, I can taste a little bit of that grassy note in there. That, and it, I get a little of that metallic machine taste on this one. Because um, I think the difference between the two of these is the wrapper on that one looks like an actual wrapper wrapped yeah. kind of handled. This one you can tell was definitely a machine rolled uh, wrapper. You can tell just kind of by the ash too here. If you guys look at that. And uh, I don't know, I don't, I don't think I'm a fan of this one. Okay, I got a real bad aftertaste. Mm -hmm. no. no. There's like a, like a little grassy metallic kind of taste that lingers after the smoke. I, I'm not a big fan of this one. Man, I was leaving some on my tongue. Not a fan. No. Not a fan of that one. Not of the white owl. So far, number one is the winner. All right, so All right, what we got next? We got the Blackstone Cherry Swisher Sweets. Okay. Right? Oh. I see that. Look at that. So these are the Swisher Sweets in its true form. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bringing so it back. For all of our you know, other viewers that watch our channel, Blackstone, Swisher Sweets, we got it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> other viewers, what could you possibly be talking about, <laughs> Brother Stogie? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, I, I know what you were saying. You don't have to keep asking. There's a reason Brother Stogie's wearing a green sweater today. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ain't even 420 yet. You know what I'm saying? It says wonderful aroma, 100% pipe tobacco. Oh, I'm excited for that. Right, so that's, that's kind of exciting. See, you now, Brother Stogie that? is obviously the bigger pipe smoker out of the both of us, mm -hmm. um, but I do enjoy a pipe every once in a while, so it'll be see. interesting to try that. Blackstone Tip Cigarillo. Blackstone Tip Cigarillos are crafted with 100% high quality pipe tobacco. Experience balance blends with the most inviting aromas for a smooth smoke that always satisfies, reminiscent of a traditional pipe experience. Let Blackstone transport you back to that special place. Guaranteed freshness. <laughs> Your voice Was that keeps a good getting one? <laughs> deeper and deeper and deeper. I like that. <laughs> it just happened. <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose. Yeah, I'm, I remember these growing up. All right. Got the whole plastic, this, this one got the, the tip on it. I'm gonna bring back my, my cigar tips. I haven't smoked out of those in a long time. Ooh. My Cohiba cigar tips. This one, huge, huge. All right. Already smell. So this is definitely machine roll. All right. Boom, back in front. Boom, right there. Get it, get it right there. Boom. Definitely machine roll. Thank you. Uh, your tip right there. All right. Got it. So I remember the last gas station video we did, the black and mild cherry cigar, I think, it was a wine. I would think it was like a, a, a wine. It was a wine. Yeah. That was probably my favorite out of that set we did. Almost like the, that artificial flavor you get from my old school now later, after yeah. you've ate it. But it's different, right. I mean, it's different for, you know, uh, 
for guys and or girls who have been smoking premium cigars for years to then switch over to gas station type blends and smoke these cigars whereas it would be just as kind of a jarring experience for somebody who's only smoked gas station sticks True. to then go over to premium cigars and try that so again to each their own and that's part of the reason why we decided to do this video and i think we've probably got a couple of more given the amount of inventory we have right now uh where we're going to do a couple more of these videos for you guys just to kind of give you an idea of you know the different blends and things like that that are out there because we know that while the stuff that we do on the channel is primarily meant for you know your premium cigars there is a portion of our audience that does enjoy gas station type cigars right speaking of a portion of our audience i want to give a special shout out to one of our followers sorry from canada from canada from canada i mean he's been hitting Canucks. he's been hitting the cigar <laughs> titans up letting, letting us know about his experience and he told me in one conversation that he had there's like no cigar community in canada Really? You know what I'm saying? So he, he said that when he, when we he watches our episode, okay. he feels as if he's part of like the lounge, the community okay. of the Scar well, That's type. why we do it. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Sori up in Canada. Hey, actually, okay. more of a, if you could live out in Canada, give us a shout out. I'd be curious to know what the cigar communities are like out in Canada. And maybe that's just part of you know where he's at or where he's from. And as a matter of fact, not speaking to Canada, anybody who's not in California or the U.S., if you're watching from a different country, let us know in the comments what the cigar community is like in your country or in the city of your country that's not the United States. So what are your thoughts? As I was talking, it's not bad. It's not bad. I can smoke, I could probably smoke this about halfway down because once it starts to heat up, mm -hmm. it's going to accentuate those... That's right. Bringing the words. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. You ready? I'm ready. Accentuate. <laughs> it's it's going to accentuate that machine and metallic taste. Please, look up. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! You see it. <laughs> You know, I finished uh, the last Swisher Sweet one we had. I noticed that after it got to about the halfway point when it started to really heat up, those flavors became more pronounced and it just kind of turned me off to it. So this is one of those that I could smoke probably about halfway down and then be done with it. But what I will do, okay, because it said 100% premium pipe tobacco, okay? As a pipe Briar Brother uh, pipe tobacconist right here. No, not tobacconist, but I love pipe tobacco. Um, this is not like premium pipe tobacco. Agreed. Pipe tobacco was extremely more decadent um, and robust than this is. The flavor that um, pipe tobacco leaves in your mouth um, doesn't taste like this. <laughs> um, so, no, this is not premium pipe tobacco. This, right. is, this is nice aromatic infused artificially flavored pipe tobacco blend they put in this, in this cigarello right here. Right. So, do not buy this rip it open, take the stuff out, and put it into your pipe. You can if you like down some dollars when you got like <laughs> down dollars some dollars. Too. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey bro, right. I ain't got time to go to Havana Cuba to get the stuff in the jar because expensive like ten dollars when I got three. Right. Do what you can. But if you get stuff from the canister from the shop, do that. Yeah. Well I mean that and that's part of the appeal with these gas station smokes, right? It's it's the entry, it's the price point, We're that entry level. In, you know what I'm saying? Right. Bring you in. It's two boxes for a dollar. Now, and again, I don't know um, how things are going to be here in California because I know that there's some laws that they're looking to get on the books when it comes to specifically like flavored type tobaccos. Um, and this would definitely fall under that flavored type tobacco thing. So there may come a time where the only place you can get this stuff would be an online store like cstorecigars.com where you could go and get stuff like that because in California, this stuff is probably heading the way of the dinosaur pretty soon yeah. where you're not gonna be able to find it. Yeah, I mean, then just, I don't know if he, he mentioned this earlier, but cstorecigars.com. Cstorecigars. Cstorecigars.com, I got it. It's only gas station cigars, okay? So go there because we told you to go looking for Opus X. That's right. Where you're the ox. You're not going to find it. It's this stuff only. 
Right. Uh, they have got quite a selection there. So if you're somebody that typically likes these sweeter cigars, or you're looking for something flavorful, or you're just kind of looking for, you know, kind of those cheaper sticks to just enjoy when you're out doing something mm -hmm. where you're not really thinking about the flavors of your cigar, give it a shot. So into our beginning, before we jump into this last box of gas station sticks, okay? If you want to like, you know, buy yourself, like, I need a stick to train on before I go ahead into this, this cigar shop. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Buy a Arturo Fuente on how to practice, on how to retro hell, how to, you know, drag it in, but don't inhale it. It's a good start. It you is. know what I'm saying? This is like a practice stick. You know, so you want to bring it in. I started on gas station smokes. Dutch Masters, President. You know what I'm saying? Retro hell, don't have to worry about burning your entire right. nose fibers off. Machine yeah. made cigars, much like cigarettes, tend to be a little. Like, easier on the palate when you're retrohaling and stuff like that okay. so I don't know about cigarettes but it just doesn't burn the same way a full bodied cigar would you do that with a full bodied cigar your first time you're probably going to be losing a few nose hairs there oh, burning yeah. those things off eyes watering <laughs> yep. and mercy all right best dude all right brother so what's next on the agenda last but not least oh this is the AYC Grenadiers blended with Habano tobacco, natural imported wrapper. Antonio E. Cleopatra, quality cigar since 1888. Okay, hold on. Antonio E. Cleopatra, AYC. Cigars have originated in Cuba in 1888. Have been bringing pleasure and relaxation to cigar lovers for over 100 years. But it's still, he's looking for with voiceover work. <laughs> <laughs> with meticulous care from the planting of the finest seeds to the selection of the best imported wrappers by expert buyers. AYC cigars bring consistent smoothness and taste and aroma cigar after cigar. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Call 976 Brother Stogie after yeah, right. <laughs> Man, dude, it takes me back in the day, man. Speaking of, you know, flashbacks, you know, back when you used to the radio, people used to listen to the radio before, like, Sirius XM and all that came right. out. We used to have, like, Theo from 99.1 KGGI. Yep. yep. No, 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 my bad. 92.3 to beat. Yep. Now, again, we're out in California, so it you may be different saying? somewhere else. But in California, that was the Deep Voice brother on the radio. Right. And then we had Kevin Slow Jam and James that played all the slow jams, you know what I'm saying? When people used to like music to get the groove on, you know what I'm saying, night. So now are these particular sticks, are these machine or hand rolled? These? They look machine rolled. I don't know, man, they look kind of hand rolled. Let's Great check it out. the plastic. It's like a little mini Toro and Cero here. Cap on top of here. Is the box say? It doesn't say if it was hand rolled or not. Does it say blended? Doesn't say hand rolled. Cigars in the package have been hermetically sealed. Hermetically, what's hermetically sealed? What hermetically is sealed is like tight. No air gets in. It's like what they do when they're sealing up uh, medical equipment and things like that. And you know that how? For another episode. Hermetically. You've heard hermetically before. Yes. Hermetical? Yes. Hermetically. Hermetically sealed. Hermetically sealed. That's right. What class did they say? <laughs> what class were you in? Where they said this was hermetically sealed. <laughs> well, this looks like. <laughs> hey, man, this is what we do all the time. So this one looks like. Let's see. Boom. All right. So that's that one. That one looks like it was machine rolled. Not hand rolled at all. But that little nasty. Mm, yeah, it is. Right there. It is punched at the end, so, so we gonna cut that. One. We are gonna I'm cut it. Smoking from that, because if you don't, there's a good chance that that is going to lead to tar buildup, like the president's one did and the Phillies one did, and then that ends up all over your lips. So the tobacco in this cigar actually looks like tobacco inside that was rolled. It may be um, short filler tobacco as opposed to long filler. I'm not cutting it open tonight to find out, but uh, it does actually look like real tobacco on the inside. I don't know, probably, show, probably still we showed you earlier. I did. 
which is different than what you would typically find in like the Titan Phillies mm. that we smoked and the Dutch Masters, because that is machine all the way through. Yeah, it looks look like scraps to me. Yeah, and one of the other things that you guys would benefit from by picking these type of cigars up off of an online retailer as opposed to going into a gas station or one of those local pharmacies where they sell the gas station cigars is how they're storing them. It's how they're storing them, 100%. It's the freshness. I don't want to say where, but I worked in one of these places for several years where yeah. we sold things like this. And I can tell you right now, there is absolutely zero care that is given to actually storing these things. They're thrown in a stock room somewhere or up in an attic for years, yeah. literally years, and then taken out at some point in time and put out on the sales floor for people to buy. And that's when you find the stuff that we found last time with the stuff just peeling apart and tobacco being super dry. I mean, this is moist and buoyant. Yeah, no, it's like it's like a real stogie. Like again, if I was out camping or hunting or fishing, and I didn't want to risk damaging my um, premium steaks, yeah. I would put this in the bag. This isn't bad at all. I actually enjoy this one. Mm -hmm. So yeah, <laughs> so we told you all in the video that Man, we so had, much energy. you know what I'm saying, that we had a lot of these, right? So the black cherry, you know what I'm saying, with the, with the tip on it. I just put four boxes in my hand. Mm -hmm. Can you mm -hmm. get them that easy? No, can't. So check this out. And we probably got more in the stogie den to do maybe two more episodes off At of. At least. Two you know more what I'm episodes, saying? No and those doubt. boxes are big cases, right? So leave in the comments if you want us to do like some sort of like giveaway. I got an idea. You know what I'm saying? What? How about we do a little giveaway to give the Titan family a chance to kind of taste the goods here? Hashtag gas station cigars in the comments below okay. and we'll pick a winner in next episode okay there we go next episode so hashtag gas station cigars in the comments below if you guys want to be entered in to win a couple packages of these gas station smokes we'll give them two weeks or one week let's do one and keep it fresh all right one week all right so make sure i hashtag below all right so that's all we got for you tonight all right probably a lot of long video but we have fun all right so do us a favor. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Okay? Can't, can't say this enough. Subscribe. I'm trying to build this family. We are building it. Like the video. Give us a thumbs up. Why is it important for them to like the video? You know what I'm saying? He's going to tell you like all the little big words and stuff. <laughs> Algorithm and all that. I'm glad you know. It helps our videos do good on YouTube. You know? <laughs> We we'll keep our we we'll keep our community hermetically <laughs> together. I don't know, whatever. I think, anyway. that's, I think you could say that's appropriate in some context. Sure. Yeah. So it helps the video do good. So like the video, comment. You know what I'm saying? Have some fun. Uh, let us know what you like. Remember, comment, do the hashtag gas station cigars so we can send you a little gift box. All right. Um, oh, hit the bell so you get new notification every time. Cigar Titans put up a new video for y'all. So, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, you feel good? I do. <laughs> Got it all out. Got it all out. Live how you smoke, smoke how you live. And that's what we're baby. <laughs> My God, we'll see you guys next week. <laughs>